I'm a psychiatrist. I work at McLean Hospital, which is over in Belmont. It's Harvard's largest and probably oldest freestanding psychiatric hospital, which means it is just all psychiatry. No other kind of medicine happens there. I'd say mental illness is a very tricky, tricky kind of illness because it's pretty much on a continuum with just being normal. I think that stigma comes a lot from fear. People are afraid of something that's different. She asked me to be in a couple groups where we would talk about our depression and things like that, but I told her I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to be associated with de having depression. You know, especially several years ago with all the, you know, you know this, all the Hollywood stars going into, quote, rehab, but they still won't talk about, well, I just got out of rehab because, because I'm schizophrenic of, or yeah. bipolar, because that's still, we don't talk about it. The stigma is not something that just affects patients or people that suffer with these illnesses. It affects the people that take care of people. As a non-psychiatrist doctor in training, there is a huge bias against mental illness patients in the hospital, even if they come in for physical reasons. When I had to go to the ER the second time to get stitches, the doctor just, he goes, is that self-inflicted? And I was like, yeah, pretty ashamed of myself at that point. He didn't give me anesthetics at all and just like sewed me up without anesthetics. And he just didn't talk to me the rest of the time once he found out it was self-inflicted. Yeah. Well, sure it's unethical. Yeah, it's, like punishment it's totally words. unethical it's, and it happens all the time. It's punishment. It's terrible. It's terrible and it's trying to teach you a lesson. The famous book, House of God, Gomer, get out of my emergency room is what Gomer stands for, okay? So if you come in, we're gonna do whatever we can to get you out and not back.